Something huge has been spotted above the sun, prompting those who saw it to ask NASA what the large structure is and whether it could affect Earth. NASA commented on the footage, saying that it's a massive solar tornado that's over 14 times larger than Earth. Those at NASA have speculated that the giant solar tornado measures over 74,000 miles in height and was moving at over 300,000 miles per hour. The footage was spotted by astrophotographer Apollo Lasky, who used data and images from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Interestingly, astronomers have recently said that there's been a reversal of the Sun's magnetic field, and this could explain some of the activity that's been observed. The Sun's magnetic field is generated by the motion of charged particles within its interior. This magnetic field extends outward from the Sun, affecting the behavior of charged particles in the solar atmosphere and beyond. Over time, the Sun's magnetic field can undergo significant changes, including periodic reversals where the orientation of the field flips. During a magnetic field reversal, the Sun's north and south magnetic poles switch places. This can have significant effects on the behavior of the Sun's atmosphere, including increased activity such as sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. Scientists monitor the Sun's magnetic field using a variety of instruments, including space-based telescopes and ground-based observatories. Scientists have said it's important that NASA and space observatories monitor the Sun's activity, saying that events like solar flares can cause huge disruptions on Earth. Solar flares can have a variety of effects on Earth, some of which can be damaging. When a solar flare occurs, it releases a burst of energy and charged particles that can travel through space and interact with the Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere. Solar flares can release high-energy particles such as protons and electrons, which can penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and pose a radiation hazard to astronauts and passengers on high-altitude airplanes. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause a range of health effects, including cancer, radiation sickness, and damage to the nervous system. When a solar flare interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it can create electrical currents that flow through power grids and disrupt the operation of transformers and other equipment. This can lead to power outages and other electrical disturbances that can have significant economic and social impacts. Solar flares can also cause damage to satellites in orbit around the Earth, including disrupting communication systems and damaging sensitive electronic components. This can affect a wide range of activities that rely on satellite technology, including navigation, weather forecasting, and military operations. While not damaging in themselves, the beautiful aurora displays that can result from solar flares can interfere with radio communications and other electronic systems. Scientists and engineers monitor the sun's activity closely to predict and mitigate the potential effects of solar flares on Earth. Space agencies like NASA also have spacecraft and monitoring systems in place to detect solar flares and warn of potential hazards. A star 4,566 light-years away has just erupted. A star from the constellation Ophiuchus has erupted. And even though the star is about 4,566 light-years away, you could have seen it with the naked eye. The star, RS Ophiuchi, was shining seven magnitudes brighter than usual. Nova, or the eruption of a star, are extremely rare. This nova was even rarer as it was a recurrent nova. This means that this star erupts periodically. Only 10 of these stars have ever been found in the Milky Way galaxy. RS Ophiuchi last erupted in 2006, so it was due for another nova, as it usually has one every 15 years. But what causes these eruptions? First, it's important to know that RS Ophiuchi is a white dwarf binary star. Because it is a binary star, it is in close orbit with another star. In this case, the other star is a large red giant. As the two stars spin around each other, hydrogen is drawn off the giant star by the smaller dwarf star. As the hydrogen accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf star, it heats up. As it heats up, the pressure and temperature can become too much, resulting in a thermonuclear explosion called a nova. If there comes a time when the white dwarf planet accumulates so much mass from the red giant, it may become unstable. If this happens, it will explode in a type IA supernova, 
which will end the binary relationship between the two stars. But that has not yet happened to Iris Afukai. The small star is still spinning around its red giant. Scientists predict that it will be another 15 to 20 years before the small star can build up enough hydrogen for another nova eruption. This means it will likely occur in the 2030s. One of the most extended gaps between the novas happened between 1985 and 2006, with a 21-year gap. This means that the next nova could happen over 20 years from now, but then again, it could also occur in the next decade. The longest gap was from 1907 to 1933, a 26-year gap. Every star eruption teaches scientists more about our universe. Hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe The Milky Way galaxy is undoubtedly the most famous galaxy. Its existence brings on the question just how many galaxies exist. Counting galaxies, the vast collection of stars that populate our universe, seems like an impossible feat. The first deterrent is simply how many there may be. Once we get to counting multiple billions of galaxies, the maths gets a little tricky. Another deterrent to finding the real number are the limitations of our instruments. In order to get a good view of space, a telescope needs to have an aperture about the diameter of the primary lens, and to avoid distortion from Earth's air, it must be located above the atmosphere. Despite the difficulty of counting galaxies, scientists have not been deterred. An example of astronomers attempting a count is how they used an image made from the combination of 10 years of from the Hubble Space Telescope called Hubble Extreme Deep Field, or XDF. The telescope focused on a patch of sky for 50 days of repeated visits. Through many hours of collecting faint light, the XDF was able to detect thousands of galaxies, making it the most in-depth image of the universe ever taken at the time. The Hubble Space Telescope had been an incredible source of information for astronomers in its 19 years of shuttle missions. In its fifth year, astronomers pointed the telescope at a region called Ursa Major, and in just 10 days of observations, it found about 3,000 galaxies in one frame. Hubble was also pointed twice at a spot in the Fornax constellation and at a portion of the ultra-deep field. With each experiment, thousands of galaxies were detected. Due to the sheer number of galaxies detected in multiple small regions, Hubble revealed about 100 billion galaxies. However, some experts expect the number to increase to 200 billion once telescope technology improves. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.